Good day, guys. Bing here. Um, today uh, we're going to do another quick, quick one. So um, this is a um, an exercise we did uh, previously. So it's twenty four oh four three. Okay. So if if you try to uh, search um, this, uh, you, you can just type in the number and then you can find. And also you can uh, find this very file. Okay, so, so it's 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 quite simple. So this one this one's quite simple. So um, basically, we create some uh, three dimensional spline and then um, use divided path and then connect uh, use an adaptive family to uh, create all these uh, uh, what do we call them <laughs> frame framing. Okay, so um, so today uh, we're going to um, try to add some structure beam uh, to it okay so let's have a uh, have a try uh, a try a different uh, method okay so first I'm going to go edit uh, this model so um, so first I want to, to try so um, maybe I'll just delete this to, so it make uh, just make it uh, a bit easier to see also delete this so it looks like these are just um, profile to profile and with a, you know a path so it's very simple and also this is divided path so uh, with all the nodes to so we can place all these um, framing okay so uh, let's delete them as well maybe I'll just delete this part this half okay so so only have you know this is a spline so spline one two three so the first method I want to try is I want to um, trying to use the structure framing so so in order to do uh, and, and use pick line pick um, use 3d snapping and trying to pick pick this line so um, but first we need to make this one um, visible when we finish this mass because currently this is a, a, a reference line so if if we finish mass so you can see uh, they are invisible Right, so we have to uh, go select this and then check check untick this box. Okay, so to make it a uh, model line. So now if we finish this one, uh, we can see this line one after we finish this uh, model in place mass. So now let's try. So go to structure beam. Okay, so currently we don't have any structure framing family loaded. So we just let's just load. So I'm just going to uh, load. So I'll go to uh, my uh, Autodesk um, Revit content. Uh, so I'll just use a structural framing family. So Steel, I'll just use a, a Australian standard. So maybe UB, uh, open. I'll just pick a, a size. So for example, this one. Click OK and try to use pick line. And also I take the 3D snapping because this is a three dimensional uh, model line. So let's try. Click on the line. Okay, so we have this warning. Uh, count a band beam type, uh, blah blah blah, along its location line. So the beam is either too large or its curve is too sharp. Okay, uh, it, uh, it won't work. So looks maybe let's try a different size. Go to beam again. Edit type. Click on load and go back to the UB. So this time let's just pick a small one, smallest one. Okay and OK and pick and pick line make sure it's 150 yep yeah. click on this line ah still so it looks like this method won't work okay so we, we won't be able to uh, create a, 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 a structure framing by just uh, simply click uh, pick this line okay it won't work that's fine let's go back to this model in place mass so now this time I'm going to try a different method. So if um, it, it it won't work by picking this model line, so I'll try to uh, create something uh, instead of a model line. I'll create some like a wall or roof, uh, and then try the edge of that roof or wall. So what I'm going to do is select these two reference uh, line. I'm going to use create form. So to create a, a surface, so you can see, ah, why well, it's red. Maybe I just changed the object style, the default uh, mass. 
Okay, so it looks like there's a, a material here. So this is it. Uh, maybe I'll just change the color. Okay, so now we have this surface. So I'm going to finish this mass. Okay, so with this surface, we can create some uh, system family, uh, such as a roof or wall. So let's try roof. We can use roof by face, and then pick this surface and create create a roof. So now we have a roof. So let's try and see if we can pick the edge of this roof. So maybe we can just change this one, change the thickness of this roof a, a little bit. Maybe I'll just make it 100. Uh, duplicate, yeah, edit 100. Okay, okay. So now let's try, go back to structure framing, beam, pick line, 3D stamping, and try to pick the edge. So can you see? Here. Okay, still doesn't work. <laughs> okay, so it looks like roof won't work. So let's delete this roof. So uh, let's try wall. So we're going to use wall by face. Okay, so pick this surface. Okay, so now we have this edge. Okay, so let's try structure, beam, pick line, 3D snapping, pick this one. Okay, so this time Revit actually, actually created a structure framing. So you can see the start point or start or end point so they are start from these two and the actual um, beam is actually a straight of a straight one so not following the shape so although there's no warning or saying ah oh, we can't do that but still it doesn't work okay so it doesn't work so that's fine let's delete them. So, looks like we can't just uh, simply uh, create a structure framing by picking any of the edge, which means there's um, only way, only one way, or maybe 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 there's there's other ways, but I think um, the only way I can think of is to just use model in place. Okay, so um, and as also actually, uh, let me show you a little tip. Okay, here so to save you some time. Okay, so currently we're in the project, and also we've loaded some or one or two uh, structure framing column or framing family. So it's under family under structure framing here. So this is UB, right? So Okay, so for example, this one. So what we can do is we can go into this structure framing family, and then in this family, under this project browser, under family, on the profile. So there are these profiles. So which means we can just you know right click on this profile, edit. So this is the actual profile file. Okay. So if I type VV and turn on all the annotation, so you can see all the parameters, everything here. Okay, so now we can just simply just load this one into the project. Okay, and then we can create a model in place just using that profile file. So which means we don't need to do manually draw it or, you know, so we can just simply just go model in place. I'll change. I'll use the structure framing uh, family uh, category, structure framing. Yeah. Okay. And then we can just simply create a sweep and pick path. Okay. So make sure pick path because this is three uh, three dimensional uh, um, edge. So pick path and then we can just finish. Go here, drop down menu. You should be able to find this profile. Okay. So now you can see, if I zoom in, you can see. This is the actual um, structure framing. So, which uh, this one's a 530 uh, UV profile. Okay, so so um, we only need two. So, so actually, even the angle you can adjust uh, after. So you can just finish this one, and now you can see we have is have this framing. But 
we might need to you know currently it uh, looks like it's a perpendicular to um, to this uh, to the to the surface but if you want to if you need to so you can select it and go here so adjust this for example if I type in 30 degree you know something like that you can always you know a change the an, uh, angle of this profile okay so yeah so I think I think this is it it's not um, it's not a uh, structure framing uh, oh I'm sorry yeah so finished model so this is a model in place uh, um, structure framing family okay so it's not this but uh, the sa the profile is exactly the same so let's um, let's maybe just quickly do another one so so go back so this one there's uh, this um, sweep in the mass we don't need that just edit select this I'll just delete it and for so for example if I want to keep everything here so we can we can do that we just need to pick um, oh hang on let me think so I think we still need to oh maybe we can just we don't we probably don't need this surface so we might be able to just use a model line to so let me just try to not this one this is a divided path so you need, need to tab and select so and then uncheck this box and finish so now we have this uh, still this mass okay with this model line so let's try a model in place go to structure framing okay sweep pick path try to pick uh, it doesn't work <laughs> okay so it looks like um, it doesn't work interesting okay so we uh, we can't do that that's still fine we can go back to this uh, uh, mass and let me just hh this and uh, try to so which means we don't need to have this model line so maybe I'll just tab select change it back change it back and then still tab select and also tab control select and then create a form so and at least we have some edge we can um, we can place this structure but uh, how do we uh, hide this surface after that um, I'm not sure maybe we can just create a parameter to control it <laughs> let's try this one visibility okay instance maybe okay okay so finish mass so currently so it's visible okay so now let's create a structure oh no sorry model in place structure framing structure framing okay and okay and go to sweep pick a uh, path see if we can pick yeah so this time we can pick this edge of this surface and finish go drop down menu and uh, we can just leave it as it is finish this okay so and then we can just type in a number so try 30 uh, maybe negative okay so it will match the other side right so now we can finish this model and then select this uh, mass or yeah divided surface and then because we have this instance parameter so visibility so we can maybe you can just uncheck yeah to turn off that edge okay so this is it so we can do the same edit uh, model in place select this surface we can we can apply the same visibility so which means we can turn it on and off quite easily All right so select it turn it on when we need to pick that edge so we can just turn it off when we have this structure uh, model placed and this is it okay so um, yeah just uh, recap so we tried structure uh, framing directly um, placed using pick line but doesn't work uh, we tried structure framing uh, placed onto wall 
and uh, roof edge and uh, didn't work as well and so the the only method works is the model in place we use model in place and also we use the profile from the structural framing so we don't need to manually uh, draw it we can just load it in and and this is it so if you have a better um, solution please let me know <laughs> okay so that's all thanks for watching and i'll see you next time thank you Um, sorry guys, I forgot to mention um, when we load the profile um, into the project so you can see it's under here so on the profile and it doesn't say what size it is so so when we try to edit this so we only choose this one but there's no size so to double check the size so you just go here double click on this name and these are the size okay so it looks like we loaded a 150 but 150 UB so which I think it's too small so um, which means we need to so uh, load a the bigger one so uh, let me have a look oh, not this one so this is a oh actually let me just start from uh beginning so we need to so it's previously we load um so for example like, let's uh have have a look at this one so structural frame is 460 uh, ub so we can just you, you know edit family okay so in here we can go to family type and choose which one would you want to, to use so now i'm using 460 and uh, go down here profile so um and uh, i think we should just edit okay so let's have a look again yeah so 460 so this is 460 a profile so um we can to just go back here go back to so this one just rename it so i'll just rename it 150 okay and then go back to the profile this one load it back into the project so Revit will ask oh, do we want to uh, all right yes so now if I click on this one so we will have another one so you can see same name but this time so if you double click you will see this is 460 and so we can just rename it 460 so now we can go back to the model in place uh, uh, framing go edit in place select so now here so we can change this one to a bigger size okay let's do the same select this beam click edit in place so, uh, click on it and then change it okay so you can quite easily change the size of this beam and of course you can if you know so you probably you can get this number from you know if you uh, from somewhere and you can always you know duplicate and uh, you can just create your own size so you can just double click on this and change the uh, size here okay so um, this is it uh, um, yeah let me know if you have any questions I'll see you next time thank you bye